Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Kashakwala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Machakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Um, I was thinking, and I may make this another installment of Let's Take a Look Into It. This will be the uh, the seventh installment of the uh, series I got going. Let's take a look into it. And we're going to look into something called Agent Orange. All right. But first, I got this word exposition up because we're about to get into the exposition of these American, this American government. And the word exposition is the late 14th century explanation or narrative or narration. I'm about to narrate. Narr I'm the narr I'm about to narrate what America is doing, all right, and what they have done. And I'm about to explain because it says an explanation, all right. I'm about to explain coming soon of what they what they are doing or what they've done. It says an explanation, interpretation. It says a setting or showing forth. I'm about to show forth and expose. America. It says narration, explanation, and the best word here it says to put forth, explain, and to expose. So now let me expound on the situation at hand. All right. <clears throat> so this is a uh, the history, the history uh, dot com. Okay, and uh, this is Agent Orange. All right, Agent Orange. All right, was a powerful herbicide used by U.S. military forces during the Vietnam War to eliminate forest cover and crops for North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops. Assholes. So guess what they did? Chemtrails. They did chemtrails in Vietnam just like they do chemtrails here. This is all the way back in the 60s and 70s. <sighs> it says the U.S. program codenamed Operation Ranch Hand sprayed more than 20 million gallons of various herbicides over Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos uh, from 1961 to 1971 for 10 whole years. It says Agent Orange was contained. The, the deadliest chemical dioxin was the most commonly used herbicide. It was later proven to cause serious health issues. Now, they put this herbicide down on there to like it says to eliminate force cover because they were getting their ass kicked over there in Vietnam by the Vietnamese man okay so it says it was later proven to cause serious health issues including cancer birth defects rashes and severe psychological and neurological problems among the Vietnamese people as well as among returning US servicemen and their families all right. I'm not going to go on to this. I will put this in in the description at hand. Some good stuff. You should read it. It tells you what Agent Orange really was and um and, and the certain uh chemicals they used and how many people were affected in the year and date and what would happen. But the main thing I wanted to focus on was this paragraph right here. And we're going to go on to the next one and from the NPR. It says evaluating Agent Orange cleanup in Vietnam. So what they are trying to do today to fix what they did in 1961 to 1971 while spraying 20 million gallons of herbicide over the, Viet the Vietnamese. You're literally using biological warfare. Okay, so it says evaluating Agent Orange cleanup in Vietnam. It says the U.S. Institute of Peace brings together experts from Vietnam and U.S. for the U.S. It has meant hundreds of millions of dollars cleaning up former air bases where Agent Orange was stored. All right. Cleaning up those sites. They're just now getting to this in 2019. In 2019, they're just now deciding to clean this up. Actually, this is kind of started around 2017, really, when they really hit the, the ground running. OK, but now since it's being exposed the exposition, all right, is being exposed and people are starting to catch wind of what they actually sprayed over there during the Vietnam War. Now they're trying to clean it up and cover up the story a little bit. All right. It says the Vietnam War ended decades ago, but the U.S. is still spending money on the cleanup of that war. All right. Yesterday, a Washington, uh, Washington D.C. think tank 
brought together officials from both countries to take stock to those cleanup efforts where here's NPR's Michael Kel- uh, Kellerman, which I'm not going to really read that. It's just a back and forth dialogue, <laughs> which I will put this description in the link as well. But pretty much you can see all the way going from Vietnam War from the, these thing, these chemtrails that they spread uh, over there to pretty much deforced um, uh, Vietnam so they can fight them all right because they're get, again they're getting their ass kicked over there getting their ass handed to them in Vietnam all right about 50,000 to 60,000 American soldiers died getting their ass kicked all right so they decided to try to clear the playing field so they could see each other but now they're they're on this part trying to clean it all up but hey Esau you've been exposed Hey, and we, and we and we see what you're doing and we see what you're trying to do. Don't try to cover something up. No, nah, bro, you did it. All right, so this is Obadiah 1 and 6. It says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things uh, sought up? All right, how are his hidden things sought up? All right, meaning what? We found you out, bro. We found you out. We saw what you was doing. And you can't get it, and you can't get away from it. All right. And this is the word for uh, sought or sought up. It's um, uh, but I, but I, I think, but I, and it means um, to seek out, swell, cause to swell, boil up, inquire, inquire. We are very, the men of the Lord are very inquisitive. We ask questions till we can get to the point, and we ask questions in here, and we do via research to get those answers. So we inquire. That's how we we seek you out and, and realize that you're a goddamn fraud, all right? And a scammer and a murderer and a liar. It says to be searched out, to be swelling. To be swelling, yeah. It says to swell, meaning what? Your lies have swelled up so much, they just popped and the truth just then came out. It says bulging and swelling out, all right? <clears throat> so, let's go to the next scripture. This is not going to be too long. Again, I'm going to put these articles in here you should look up what agent orange is and it's still going on to this very day and i'm going to put up a video on my page showing you the effects of agent orange all right so uh this is about 23 minute clip watch it all right so let's uh let's go to um i want to say isaiah 47 this is isaiah 47 and 1 it says come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. Meaning, man, you're about to be brought to a low estate. All right. You're about to be contrite. All right. It says this, Salakia, there is no there is no throne. Why? Because we're going to take it. The children of Israel. All right. The sons of Israel are going to take it. Yahushua is going to take it. All right. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shall no more be called tender and delicate. Verse 2, take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. We're uncovering everything, man. All right? It says, uncover the thigh. The thigh. When, you un- when you uncover the thigh, what's usually exposed? Your, your, your private areas. Or your privy. Or your, yeah, your, your privy parts. All right? Pass over the rivers. All right? So what? We're making them naked. We're, we're exposing you. This is the exposition of Esau. This is what we're taking a look into. All right. Verse three, it says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. You're going to be naked. All right. You're going to be bare and naked. Everybody's going to see you. Everybody's going to be exposing you. And your lies are going to swell up inside of you so much. You're just going to pop and the truth is going to come out and you're going to come down. All right. It says, yea, uh, thy shame shall be seen. That's right. We see the shame in Agent Zero in Agent Orange clean up in Vietnam. We seen what you've done. You got people over there in Viet the Vietnamese people over there all deformed and discombobulated, physically looking weird. It's like the hills have eyes out there. All right, because of that herbicide you spread for ten goddamn years, twenty million gallons of that. All right, it says it will not meet the uh, and I will. N- and I will not meet thee as a man. That's right. That's Yahweh Shai. He will not meet you as a man. All right. He's going to come in all his glory and power according to Second Ezra's 13th chapter. And y'all going to be uh, just perceived as a 
smoke and, and, and dust, like it says in there as well. Okay, let's get one more scripture and then we're going to close it out because it did say that they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on this cleanup effort, even though the damage is already done, man. The damage is already done. There's nothing you could, your money can't do shit, all right, to, to help these people out. They're through and their generations before them are through as well. All right, have a cook two and six. Uh, shall not all these take up a parable against him? Right. And what? We're taking up a parable. We're calling you out. Right here, Agent Zero, 20 million gallons of herbicides, all right, giving people cancer and neurological problems, okay, like it says right here, all right, so it says, um, in a taunting proverb against them, and say, woe to him that increase, increaseth that which is not his, exactly, you increased that which is not yours by even stepping foot in the northern Vietnamese and Viet Cong area. Okay, you are not supposed to be over there. Your plot of land is really nowhere, all right, because you're a vagabond slave and you need to be in slavery. But you're not supposed to be over there in the Vietnam. You stay your ass in America, but instead you go over there to fight a war that didn't need to be fought. Okay, <clears throat> it says, um, and cannot be satisfied. That's right, you can't be satisfied. So, oh, Salakia. I'm in verse 5 That's true though He can't be satisfied Unless he goes and takes some something up Alright It says Woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay Correct Because what does it say right here? That it spent hundreds of millions of dollars In the cleanup effort Alright In the cleanup effort of this Alright So I just wanted to get a quick synopsis Of what Agent Orange is And take a quick look into it Esau You're a devil the Edomites are the so-called uh, white man, the self-proclaimed white man today. Yes, I said it. The self-proclaimed white man today is Esau who does these type of things. Okay? You don't see no Jake flying a plane dropping 20, 20 million gallons of, of freaking herbicides on, um, on other people. 75-80% of Jake don't even know what a herbicide is. <laughs> Let alone getting the airplane and dropping it on them. Okay, who does this? The white man. All right, you Edomites, and y'all gonna pay for it. That's why the Lord, like I said, like I just read in Isaiah 47, is not gonna meet you as a man. He's just gonna come and whoop that ass. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 First Fruit. I'm the brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS and Leonard Church here in Georgia. Until next time, like always, Shalom.